Sandra Ustinova. She is a member of the Ukrainian parliament. She's here in Washington meeting with lawmakers and pushing for more sanctions. She also feels very strongly about a no-fly zone over Ukraine. Um, Alexandra, it's good to have you here. I, I noticed that when you heard those sirens in Trey's report, um, it was very emotional for you. I still cannot believe this is happening in my country because every day we have hundreds of people dead. We have children die on the streets, in the children's hospital, in orphanages. They are shooting vacuum bombs at preschool. It's just impossible to imagine, something that was impossible to imagine a week ago. Nobody believed that this could have happened in the center of Europe. And the only thing we keep begging as the country who gave up its nuclear weapon, who signed all the treaties, who was totally protected by the uh, international treaties and their collective defense, mm -hmm. and is now under the shell fire, and, uh, under the rockets, under the missiles. All we keep asking is help protect our sky. You've heard what, pre what uh, Mikhailo was saying previously about the no-fly zone. The no-fly zone means that we can protect our civilian population. We can fight on the ground. We can fight with the tanks. We will go barehanded, but we will stop them. But it's really difficult for us with the airspace open when we ha have tons of their heli helicopters of their jets coming and just shooting our children, shooting our women, shooting our residential areas. And every time I keep talking about this on the Hill, I get this feeling that, uh, well, we know you we don't want to go with Russia into war. Well, I'm sorry. But this is Vladimir Putin who decides whether he goes into war or not. If he wants to go into war, he will. And the only thing I'm asking every politician here, because I think people had made up their mind. I've seen thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in the streets in every city. In Berlin, 100,000 people who persuaded their government to make a step towards SWIFT, towards stronger sanctions. And the only thing I keep asking the politicians is, where is the red line? Tell me what you else you have to see on your TVs to help us with the sky, to help us protect our children. If you want to see the second Aleppo, if you want to see Ukraine being totally burned down to ash, Tell us that. I've heard about 500,000 people in Syria. So tell us honestly that we are not going to do anything, that democracy is going down and the tyranny is going to win. Because if Putin wins in Ukraine, that means that the whole world, the whole Western world was not able to protect a single democratic country that is that has been in a lot of alliances, that has been in a lot of international treaties, and has been doing its job pretty good, and we've proved that, that the whole world could not protect one country from a single lunatic who keeps telling everybody that I'm going to invade France, I'm going to invade Finland, what's next? And. I just keep telling them it's not about politics because I was looking at the sanctions and I was very surprised because we were promised that if the Russian soldier steps on the Ukrainian land, we will have a really good response. Well, I'm sorry, but the sanctions avoided the energy sector. So let's talk honestly that you care more about whether you pay extra extra 50 cents for your gas prices or how many people die in Ukraine. We've been promised SWIFT. We have five banks on the SWIFT that were blocked. Out of 300 in Russia, 
You call these sanctions? Well, I'm sorry. Let's just ban every bank, sanction every bank that works with the Russian bank. The, in this case, they will be totally blocked. If we do not bring their economy down and their oligarchs down, it's not going to help. And we don't have time for this. We don't have time for negotiations and for discussions. We need to take action now. Because every day, and you see it on TV. I get these sirens on my cell phone every day because I live in Kiev and I'm connected to all the infrastructure. So I wake up every day just texting my friends if they're alive. And I was today on the, uh, on the hill and I was talking to my one of the Congressman, and he said he knows my colleague. Yet I told him, I know, you know, do you know what my colleague is doing at the moment? It's a girl. And he said, no, what? I said, well, she's doing co Molotov cocktails. He didn't believe me. So I had to show him yeah. photos of the member of the parliament doing Molotov cocktails just to protect the city. She didn't escape. She's well. there. I, I, I had, I'm frightened to think what it's going to look like when the Russian soldiers really enter when that convoy surrounds Kiev and those soldiers enter. I think we're going to see those Molotov cocktails uh, out in force. Alexandra, I hear what you're saying. There have been security guarantees made to your country in the past, uh, and we hope to find a way to uphold them. Thank you very much for being here. All right, everyone, hello, and welcome back to the channel. I cannot say it enough. I cannot say it enough. Much respect, much respect to the people of Ukraine. Ukraine, a country that gave up their nuclear weapons, signed treaties, gave that up. I mean, signed treaties to, like, be a part of NATO. And now? And all they're asking is like for them to, uh, for NATO to impose a no-fly zone, so this way um, Russia can't slaughter them using their air power, the helicopters, the jets, you know, shooting them down that way. They'll go hand-to-hand -hand combat. Can you hear that? You, you heard her. They will go hand-to-hand -hand combat. They will deal with the tanks, missiles on ground or whatsoever. I love that. They're talking, they, they, that's warrior shit right there. That's warrior talk. As we all know, that's slaughter. Using, uh, Russia using their jets and their helicopters to come at them, throwing bombs at them that way. Yeah, that's slaughtered. Fight like real warriors. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. And on the ground. That's... That's warrior stuff, okay? I mean, even in wars, there has to be um, rules, rules of engagement. Anybody can slaughter. There's, there, there's no pride in that. And I say it again. He takes over Ukraine. What's to stop him the next day waking up and saying, oh, Poland is next. Or France. Or whatever other country. You know? That's that's somebody who has to be dealt with, guys. Uh, anyway, here's another video of uh, the Long Island frauded want to do a so-called audit at a prison. This is the first time I've seen him do a prison. I can't. I can uh, not. I cannot remember him doing a so-called audit at a prison in in the year that he's been doing this here, guys. Okay. And I've, I've never liked those audits that um, these guys, when they go in, uh, to a, a prison and they're looking to assert their rights at a prison by taking pictures of, of the state prison. And I, I'm saying in my mind, and, I, and guys, listen to me, I get frustrated with his subscribers because if you watched the video, if you were on his channel and you saw his video, then you read the comments and... Um, 
Yeah, these goddamn correction officers, they think they run the place and they got power out of uh, the prison and so on. Because as you will see, uh, Long Island frauded goes to the state prison to prove that he can um, be on the easement way and record the prison. You know, take uh, his recordings and pictures or whatever, and they can't do shit about it. Now, come on, think about it. Any prison, any prison that has, listen, prisons, that's where the people like murderers, rapists, people who have committed heinous acts of violence are sent to, okay? Those are places where we have our uh, top criminals at, okay? People that are doing life, uh, they don't got nothing to lose, okay? They've killed on the outside and they're killing in the inside as well. This is where we put them at. And this, uh, these assholes, frauditors, want to go over there and assert their rights? That they want to have the rights to record and, and record, take pictures of the prison and all this bull crap and the prison care. What do, how, how do you want the prison to, to act? I, like I, This is one of the things that I'm tossing in my head. These frauditors go to a prison where, again, I'm going to say we have our sick people that have committed crimes, heinous acts of crimes, murder, rapes, and other shit that's unmentionable shit that got them locked up. They go to these locations and they expect the... The, the, the correction officers uh, or the prison guards, whatever you want to call them, correction officers, to come out and blow sunshine up their ass that, yeah, you got rights. We know you got rights. If you read the sign there, there will be a sign there that he's going to come across. Um, yeah, you, you can record with prior approval. They're not telling you you can't record. But at least give them the respect and act so this way when they see two or three people outside their building, they know, okay, it's this guy, you know, he wants to assert his rights and he wants to record the prison. But as we all know, guys, they feel it's their rights to record in public and they can do whatever the hell they want because it's publicly uh, funded and it's a public location. But they don't take into consideration that this is what we want our prison. This we want them to be top security i mean we don't you know some of those people i don't want to see come out of prison there's some people that got caught out there unfortunately got caught out there by mistake and they're in prison for something they didn't do that's heartbreaking i understand that but then there are those that belong in prison have done some crazy shit that we don't never want to see come out they could they could rot in that cell for for the rest of their lives i don't care Okay, so you know these are prisons that we want them. They gotta be hardcore. They have to be. These are people that don't have nothing to live for anymore and are willing to kill. So we need our guards and we need those facilities to be, you know, on on their game. This could be somebody. That asshole could be somebody who's um taking pictures uh to like plan an escape or something like that so these are the shit that that got it i mean i'm sure you guys all agree i don't understand how they can justify going to a prison and expect not to be questioned expect not to you know i just don't see it i don't see it and their subscribers they're assholes because i read the comments and it's just like they make it sound like these prisons are out there trampling on people's rights when it's a prison we want the prison to act like this. We need them to be on their game. What the hell are you here? What are you doing? What are you taking pictures of? You know, and blah, blah, blah. This is what we want them to do. And they're, they're, listen, I'm, I'm saying, you'll see, you'll see a sign. I'll point it out. That's telling you, if you want to record and, and take pictures, prior approval. Give them a heads up and, you know, you can do your recording. This bullshit about because you feel that it's your right... It just doesn't flow with me. And, and and nobody's looking at none of their the frauditors, their subscribers. I don't know. Either their hatred that they have for the government is blurring their judgment that it's not letting them think right. Let's get to the video so you get a better understanding of what I'm talking about because it just it's difficult to explain this without you um seeing what I'm talking about. Let's kick this video off here. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. 
Today we are at Franklin Correctional Facility here in Malone, New York, 10 miles south of the Canadian border. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. It says notice the New York State Department of Corrections. The taking of photographs or videos on facility property is prohibited except with the specific prior approval of the superintendent or in accordance with the New Yorker's right to monitor act. All right, so there goes that sign. Read the sign. It's not telling you you can't record, period. It's telling you if you make arrangements, hey, you know, at least give us a heads up and we know not to worry about that you're probably be, uh, trying to gather intelligence to, to break somebody out. Okay, I mean, you're talking about a facility that holds some crazy, sick people, murderers, rapists, and, you know, other shit that we cannot imagine. And you want them to be blowing sunshine up their asses by, yeah, it's your First Amendment right. Come on. Come do it. Come on. You know, it just doesn't make sense, the type of shit that these guys do. I want these places to be more secure. I don't need no crazy maniac uh, escaping and then trying to, you know, hurt other people. You know, the people that, yeah, they got to be people that live around there, too. They, they're the ones that got it worse, okay? Having a prison in your backyard right next to you, that's, I don't know if I could do it. I'd be selling my house and looking for another place. But anyway, just the type of shit that these assholes do, they make it sound like these prisons are out there trampling on people's rights when all they're trying to do is protect us from the knuckleheads that are unfortunately sick enough to kill people and rape people and and so on. You know what I'm talking about. So, that's why we're going to be staying on public property right here on the public easement. We're not going to be going on their property, which is further in. It is 100% uh, snowing right now, but freedom freedom doesn't stop for snow. <laughs> so, Hello. Hey, how are you? How you doing today? On, how you guys doing today? Good, you? I'm pretty well. How are you? Too bad. What are we up to? I'm uh, just taking some pictures and video. Of what? Of the facility here? No, you're not allowed to. I'm not allowed State to property. No. I'm not allowed to take pictures in video of the facility. Not at the facility. You can not walk up and down the road all you want, but you can't take pictures of our vehicles and stuff in the parking lot. Can I get your guys' names? Yeah, my name is Sergeant Campo. Okay. And Officer Gardner. Oh, so you supervisor? Yeah, Sergeant I'm the Campo? supervisor. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we don't. If you walk up and down the road, you can walk up and down the road all you want, but we have license plates and everything, and we don't know what you're doing with. Yeah, license plates are public. Why, why wouldn't I be able to take pictures of the facility? Because it's a state prison. Okay? I'm not on you your property. To, you have to get authorization from New York State before you do it. I'm not on your property. That would be if I was on Where's your property. Where's your vehicle at? That, that would be if I was on your property. I'm not on your property. Okay, so let, let me have your ID then. So you're not even law enforcement. You're just a correctional. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. You're, you're a correctional officer. But I can call the state police if you like. But your correctional, to be, your, yeah. your authority ends behind that gate. You, you right at correct. this gate, your authority you ends. Correct. You're just a regular civilian like me. Yes, sir. And I'm just a civilian who's exercising his constitutional right. Okay. Freedom of press. So you don't want to give me your ID then? I'm not going to, no. Okay. Um, no problem. No problem. problem. No problem. I'll just you have no ahead. authority, sir. That's all right. We'll, we'll get some authority. Okay. Thank you. You do what you need to do, okay? Yep. Take care, guys. Okay, young man, you have to step over the other side of the street, okay? This, this is state property here, This is okay? public property right here. No, this is state. You step over the, to the other side, please. You see these power lines over here? Yep, copy that. That means it's a public easement, okay. sir. That so you don't want to go over there? Anybody anybody can walk on this side of the street, sir. Okay, that's fine. This is a public easement. That's fine. The state troopers are in route, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yep. That's fine. And you said your name was Sergeant Did Campo? Did you have any ID? You said your name was Sergeant Campo, right? Yes, C O no, C O M P O, Campo. Campo, yeah. Campo. You from around here? Or? Oh, I'm not going to answer any questions. I'm just going to. Okay. I'll answer one question. I'm an independent journalist. Oh, great! I'm nice. Just gathering content for a story. Okay. 
working on the store here out in uh, okay. Malone. That's that's great. Should be careful though with the snow and everything inside the road. I mean, I hate to see you get hit by a car or something. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's all right. It's not nice out here. It's fine. Where's it's where's fine. your vehicle at? It's fine. Oh no, I don't have a vehicle. <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> I walked. From local? <laughs> I walked. Yeah. Okay. You couldn't walk from very far away. <laughs> Why not? Okay. You have any yeah. Other so look, these, these power or? lines over here. Uh, I'm not going to get into no, that's the a public, legality. That's, that's a fine. public utility. That's fine. So that that means that this everything on the other side of the power line that's called the public easement. Okay, I, I don't. And we have a right. Not going to argue with you on that. It's not my place to yeah, do it. Yeah, because you know. But the thing is, you're not telling me who you are. I don't know. I who just you told are. you I'm an independent journalist. Right, but you didn't give me any ID to show me that you're a journalist or anything. So. Uh, just respectfully that I don't have to. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's my right not to give that's it to fine. you. The same way you see how you're recording me. That's your right. You see how it works? It works both ways. No, I just have a job to do. I, I get directed no, to do No, but your job is to protect what's going on inside. And like I said, Sergeant, I don't mind you coming out to me and asking me what I'm doing. But to be real, you don't have any authority out here. And, and secondly, I I should have just um, dispelled your fear. I told you I'm a journalist. Well, you could have came here and asked the facility for permission to I told give you a journalist so that we know who we're out or we don't I'm know not who just, you are. I could just be quiet and not say right. anything but I'm telling you I'm a journalist I'm trying to be reasonable here and yep. I don't see you see I my see side the, I don't see what's the issue no because I told you what I'm doing here right. you should say oh go back inside and tell but the lieutenant most the journalists captain. will come in and, and tell them who you are ID themselves and ask for oh, permission no. to do it if I was going if you did that that'd be great your, if I was going on your property I certainly would have done all right, so let me ask you guys here because I'm sure you guys have heard this guy throw this um, that same phrase out before that when um, he is confronted by police and um, he is asked, what is he doing there and so on? And he turns around and he tells them, I am a journalist gathering content for a story. Then in his opinion, police that are confronting him should turn around, get back in their vehicles and go away. They have nothing to worry about because he has told them that he is there gathering story uh, content for a story. I'm sure you guys have heard him state that before. Now, mind you, that to me is like fairy tale shit. I'm sure he realizes that in today's world, okay, people bullshit, people lie, okay. The bad guy who's uh, really have you know, bad intentions, they're not going to go there and say, yeah, I'm here gathering uh, content because I'm trying to break somebody out or, or some crap. They're going to lie. Yeah, I'm here gathering content for a story. Okay? So, I mean, this guy, either he lives in some kind of fairy world that, um, well, let me know, so I'll move there too. I would love to live in a world where we can go by a person's word. I mean, back in the days, your word meant something. Back in the days, if you told somebody you was going to do something, you did it. It means, you know, your word means something. But guys, let me tell you honestly, where I'm at right now in PA, oh my God, please. I've had people say one thing and do another. I'm sure we've all come across people like that. Word don't, I mean, like if you give your word, it don't mean shit to people no more. Like honestly, I honestly felt my word is my bond. If I tell somebody something that I'm going to do something or whatsoever, I go by it. You know, you gave your word as a man. Now, this guy here, again, I've heard him say it many times, a few times before. When confronted by police, what the hell are you doing? And he turns around and he tells them, I'm a journalist gathering content for a story that they should turn around, get back in their vehicles and leave. I'm like, damn, this guy is really, is he that naive, that dumb? I don't know. You guys let me know. Is that what? It, do you really feel that police should turn around and leave when told that that person is a journalist gathering? Con I mean, understandable. We already know what this asshole is all about. But I'm just saying, uh, the average Joe was to turn around and give that kind of feedback to a, an officer whatsoever. I, 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 not me, not me, guys. I don't expect that police. Or I would, I would be more pissed at the officer for swallowing a story like that without confirming it. Okay. Again, we say an asshole who's out there stating that he's a journalist make the effort into making some kind of idea. I mean, he's self-employed. He's uh, 
that works for himself or whatever. It doesn't hurt. You can laminate some type of ID that's stating that Sean Paul Reyes, press, okay? Do something like that. At least look the part. Look the part. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I would have done that if I was going on your property. How was long it, are you going to be here? There's or? another correctional facility uh, up the road, Bear Hill, correct? Bear Hill and, and upstate. upstate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go check those out before I get out of here. Okay. Nice equipment there. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I just, this one is uh, live streaming. So that way, just in case anything happens, the video is safe somewhere. Nice. You would think you couldn't get a... Got a signal out here in the middle of nowhere, but oh, we got, got good, a good, we got, got good. a good signal out here. So it doesn't look like you would, but you definitely do. Yeah, Franklin County Public Safety Complex, right across the street from the correctional facility. Hey, how you doing today, sir? Not too bad. Just curious, uh, curious what you're doing in our parking lot. What are you videotaping? Um, who are you, sir? I am deputy marshal from the sheriff's office. Deputy marshal? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a journalist. Okay. I'm working on a story on the Franklin County uh, Public Safety Complex here. Okay. In publicly accessible areas. Okay. I also see you were recording uh, the state prisons, also. Yeah, correct. I already spoke with somebody over there. Yeah, I spoke with somebody. Do over you there. have any credentials that I, I could show uh, for my administration? Uh, Do you have any credentials showing where you I, work? I don't. I don't have any credentials on me. I don't show credentials only because everybody, including yourself, deputy, we have freedom of press. It's a okay. right. Do you have country. any ID on you? I don't. Or I don't I give can... ID unless I, unless I have um, you suspect me of um, committing okay. a crime. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank and you. where's where's your vehicle? Where are you headed? Are you going? Oh, I walked here. Tonight? I walked here. You did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I'll let my uh, my supervisor know. Yeah, sure. No problem. Let's make contact with this. Uh, State Trooper right here. How's it going today? Hey, how are you, sir? Not too bad. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing much. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I'm just uh, working on a story All from right. public property. What, what's the story? Oh, it's on the uh, correctional facility here and this public safety complex over here. Oh, uh, okay. So you're basically just doing the recording for that? Yeah, I'm recording for my story. I can't really get into the details until it's published yet, but... Where's it published through? Oh, uh, through, through my website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Department policy here. Okay. You see, Sergeant. Um, that, Sergeant Campo. Sergeant Campo. Yep. That policy applies when I'm on your property, and as I explained to you before, I'm not on your property, so you have no authority over me, and that policy doesn't apply because policy doesn't trump the Constitution of the United States. I'm on a, what's called a public easement, okay. where all my rights are completely in store, not breaking any laws. Okay. Not doing anything wrong. All right, uh, I do have a report that I got to do, so mind if I describe your basic no, information? You're, I'm not going to give my information to you. No? No. If you want, you can write your report, Good Citizen. Good Citizen? Yeah. Okay, well, well, how do I look you up to get to the video? No, no, I, I can't. You'll, you'll get it. What's your name? Trooper Harrigan. Trooper Harrigan? Yeah. I'll send it to you. You got okay. a card? Uh, no, they don't give us cards. They don't give you cards? No. I'll send it to you. I'll make sure you get it somehow. Okay. But I'm, I'm not going to give my personal information, only because you don't suspect me of committing a crime, do you? Uh, no, you're on public property. You're allowed to do whatever you got to do. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're I, would not... just, I, would, I, would, I would just ask. Okay. So over there. Yeah. That's parking lot. Yeah. I'm public, public property, parking lot. Okay. So, so lot. try to <laughs> try to stay on the road. A public parking. Okay. Lot. And stay out of traffic. <laughs> don't obstruct anything. Okay. I'm not obstructing right. anything. Uh, and that? and roads are slippery, so try not to get hit. All right. Sure. No problem. No problem. So like I got explained to him. He should have came to the facility, asked the superintendent for permission first. Okay. And we would have been a lot easier. I'm, in public, okay. I'm on public property, and, and, and the trooper is explaining that to you now. Remember you said that this is private property? This is the state property? It's not. Okay. It's called the public easement. All right. All right, well, I'm going to go talk to him, yeah, and sure. you're all set to go do whatever you need day. to do. You too.
Thanks for honoring your oath today. Well, I truly hate to say the way I'm going to say this, but I look forward to the day that something that these guys are fighting for, like let's say this right here, I hope someday something like um, some asshole who really does mean bad uses that excuse that they use to, you know, it's my constitutional right and blah, 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 you can't do nothing, and it turned out to be a real bad guy, and something dramatic happens, and we could all thank this asshole. I'm, I'm really looking forward to something, you know, you know, you got the idea of what I'm talking about. Not, not, doesn't necessarily have to be with a prison or anything, but the shit that these guys fight for, like going there, they don't want nobody to be bothered, no questions to be asked. Let anybody walk into City Hall, let them roam around free so they can go plant a bomb if they have to. You know what I'm getting at, okay? I'm just, I know it may sound like I'm over-dramatizing shit, but that's, it could happen. It could happen. So if any, if it could happen, then my way of thinking is you got to cover that base so this way it don't happen. If there is a possibility that something could happen, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, then you make sure you cover that spot. You, you, you make every attempt you can to not let shit happen if there's that possibility of something getting by you by, you know, like a weakness or whatever. You know what I'm getting at, guys? I'm sure you do. I, I do apologize that I know I, I sometimes I, I have a hard time explaining shit, but it's like, honestly, you, you these guys, they fight for the shit that's gonna come back. That's gonna come back and bite us in the ass one day, and I don't understand if if they realize it, or they're so intent on making a video of making themselves look like um like basically he already knew by doing this video he already knew that he was gonna go to the prison, and somebody was gonna confront them. It's a prison. The prison would be stupid not to confront somebody who's walking around their property taking pictures and so on. Past history has shown that we've seen other frauditors do it, and we already know they're going to be confronted. So his objective was to make the person who comes out to tell them, hey, you know, you can't you can't record here whatsoever. His objective was to make them look like an idiot on YouTube. And he did it. He accomplished it. Okay? So I hope someday it comes back where something dramatic happened, and it was all because these assholes fought for that right for people to be not questioned. You know what I'm getting at, guys? I'm sure you do. And, and, and we could thank them and their damn subscribers for fighting for something that's stupid. That's my opinion. I tried to tell him, I tried to tell him that this is public property. He wanted to say, I'm calling the state police, this is state property, we can't record here. He's showing the trooper his policy, and you can't record in public building, you can't record on their property. And as you can see, nothing is happening because I'm not breaking any rules. Sir, I was never on the property. No, not, I know. I'm not saying you were. I'm just saying you are going to stay off the property. Have a nice day. All right, you too. See what he was trying to do there. That's that little last minute dig. You're going to stay off the property? That's that control. That's the authority he's trying to have. You're going to stay off the property? I was never on the property. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the New York State Department of Corrections, Franklin Correctional Facility here in Malone, New York. As you guys just saw, our public servants have a really bad understanding of our rights and what's public property and what's not. They're saying, the correctional officer, Sergeant Campo, was saying that where I'm standing right here, 
is the correctional facility's property. He did not even understand. He's a supervisor and he did not understand that this is a public easement. See the public utilities right there? They do not have control over this property and he is not a law enforcement officer. He's asking for ID. You know, he needs to get his job description right. He's there to protect the inmates inside and enforce the rules on the inside of those walls. He's not here to enforce his imaginary rules on law-abiding citizens. And then when he finally does get somebody who has authority, which would be the New York State Troopers, he explains to him that I'm not doing anything wrong and that this is public property. So hopefully, you know, Sergeant Campo got a nice little education today. You know, I'm all about people receiving their education, including me. So I'm glad nothing bad happened here. I'm glad my, vi my rights weren't violated. That's definitely a win. And we educated some more people. So, you know, with that being said, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this shit here, because I honestly, this prison bull crap, when they do these orders at the prison, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It truly doesn't. Like, I don't see people banging down their doorway saying, hey, go fight for my rights to go take pictures. I want to bring my family up to uh, to this particular prison so I could take pictures of us having a picnic there whatsoever. You know what I mean, guys? Hey, $24.99 plus shipping. Get your Long Island Frauded shirt. And um, I'm leaving a link to my Facebook um we're on Facebook Marketplace. You can buy the shirt. Um, they will um, hold the money until you get the shirt and you release it. When you get the shirt, get your shirt. Make a two, three minute video of uh, a message from you to the Long Island Fraud. I want to put a bunch of messages together. And um, hey, $24.99 plus shipping. Show your support, guys.